Hi, my name is Nalia, and I want to tell you about how I started my business. I was having a great time swinging in our backyard under the mango tree. The ripe mangoes were falling all around me, and I realized that there was more fruit than my family could eat. Just then, my mom came out with glasses of fresh mango juice, and I got the idea to use the mangoes to sell delicious juice from a stall in front of our home. During the week, I worked on my business plan. My dad helped me to calculate the price I would charge for each cup of juice. Working out that cost involved much more than just the value of the ingredients. I also had to include a fee for my time and of course a markup so that my business could make a profit. I gathered together everything I needed, jugs, cups, ingredients and icebox, and I made a paper sign to stick on the table. On Saturday morning, very early, I set up my stall under the shade of a large tree. I waited for a couple of hours, but nobody wanted to buy my juice. I sat down and thought it through. It was early morning, nobody was thirsty, and people were leaving their home in a hurry to get to market. What if I sold my juice later on when people were returning all hot, thirsty, and tired? I packed up and went inside. In the afternoon, I made quite a lot of sales but still had juice remaining and lots of mangoes falling from the tree in our backyard. During the week, I thought about how I could increase my sales and it dawned on me that my aunt lived next to a cricket ground. Surely there would be lots of hot and thirsty people there. So, with the permission of my parents, I made arrangements with my aunt. At the start of the Saturday cricket match, I set up my stall in front of her house and boy was I busy. I could hardly keep up and had to ask my aunt to get extra ice. Back at my aunt's home on the following Saturday, I noticed that someone was selling sweet drinks very near to the spectators and fewer people were coming over to my stall. I decided there and then that I would have to reinvest in my business and make changes for the following week. I would bottle my drinks, design a sign advertising the nutritional value of fresh mango juice, add a basket to my bicycle and ask my cousin if he would help me distribute the juice. I knew that I would have to increase the price of the juice because of the bottles and the need to employ my cousin. When the following Saturday came, sales shot up. Advertising the nutritional benefits of fresh juice and distributing directly to the spectators showed me that my planning and reinvestment were a success. The real highlight was when the cricketers bought my juice at break time and congratulated me on making such a successful product. When I imagine my future, I can just picture myself having a large company manufacturing all types of tropical juice in branded cartons all over the world. I know I'll feel really proud because I feel very proud of myself already and it's been loads of fun too.